Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're just having the best day of your life and you're tomorrow better than the day in Jesus. Amen. Come to know him. He loves you. How do you get out of Babylon? You know, I've thought this for years reading the book of Revelation. It's really just struck me because I've got like a friend, maybe more than one friend, that really believes the United States of America is Babylon. And Revelation 17 seems to talk about an ecclesiastical Babylon. Revelation 18 seems to talk about an economic Babylon. Some people try to say that both Babylons are the same thing. Um, different views are proffered, like 1 Peter 5.13, Sylvanus is writing from Babylon. Some would say that's a secret code or a euphemism for Rome. Others would say it was the literal city of Babylon. There's actually a movie that just came out, a Christian movie, that shows, or purports to show, that Babylon and the identification has kind of gone different places over the years, such as in Zechariah, you've got these two storks or two women with the stork wings or something carrying a lead a lid and an ephah and this is Babylon this is Shinar put it in the land of Shinar so we're really not going to look too much today at the identification of Babylon but let me just get into scripture here Revelation 18 3 and 4 because I got so many thoughts about this uh, 4 and 5 as a matter of fact well, let's start at verse 3. We'll start at verse 3. It says, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquity. Equities. So how do I get out of Babylon? Okay, come out of her, my people. Now, I, I want to skip down a little bit and show us like the last end of Babylon. And verse 21 of Revelation 18, And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee, and no craftsman of whatever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. The sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. The light of a candle on and on and so forth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived, and in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and all that were slain upon the earth. I mean, it's, it becomes a habitation of every vile bird and all this kind of stuff. A Babylon, Babylon is cast down. So, okay, if I'm supposed to come out, come out of her. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people the church, that you be not partakers of her sins, that you receive not of her plagues. Okay, so how do I come out of Babylon? Is this talking spiritually like the doctrine of separation, that the doctrine of Babylon is what I'm supposed to come out of? Or am I supposed to physically, if I live in what is modern day Babylon, am I supposed to leave like Lot left Sodom? So my, my issue I've got and you might be saying, well, is this really an issue? If America is really babbling, I mean, are we supposed to be like the Scrooby separatist and try to leave America and go someplace or something? Now, reading chapter 18, it seems to me very clear that Babylon is a city, not a country. And so, like Babylon was a city, but also a province, some people would say, well, no, it's really, you know, maybe New York City. There's actually Babylon, you know, if you look on a map on Long Island, there's Babylon, New York. And they would say it's a city, but it represents a whole country. I'm just like, mm, if I read chapter 18, I can't see that it's the entire United States of America. I think that it is talking about a city. America's got some corrupt cities in it. I mean, biblically corrupt. But it's also got Christians in there. I mean, it's been said that 10% of New York City is Pentecostal of some sort. So, 
you know, some would say San Francisco, some would say Los Angeles, Hollywood, some would say Seattle, Portland, some would say, you know, Boston, some would say New York City. These are all have wickedness, but I mean, so does Chicago have some wickedness in it, but so does my little town here, you know, because we're not, everybody's not saved yet in the human heart, Satan, he's all around. So, you know, I would have a real problem identifying Babylon as the USA per se. It could be a city. Now, some people identify it as the city of London. Other people say that it is Rome. Other people say that at some point in the Middle East, maybe after the Gog War, that there's going to be an economic, just much like uh, Qatar and United Arab Emirates and Dubai, are these amazing economic engines there'll be another one in a rebuilt city of babylon there in iraq i just don't know but the, again the question's been rolling around in my head and been increasing here the last little while is since i have so many friends and if you read, if we were to sit here and read Revelation 18, you might be sitting there saying, yeah, it sounds kind of like America. <laughs> okay, so then how do I come out? Is it a spiritual coming out? Is it just holiness to the Lord? Or because I don't want to be partakers of its judgment and all this kind of stuff and the plagues that come upon her. Babylon the great is fallen is fallen come a hold for every hateful bird unclean animal and on and on and so forth or is it just some kind of spiritual coming out and so again I want to stress some of you might be thinking well that's just a ridiculous question it's really not when you want to obey Jesus when you want to be scrupulous of obeying scripture and not have cafeteria religion and pick and choose what you want I'm really serious on that so first of all, we'd need to determine what Babylon is. And again, I can't see it being the whole United States of America, but maybe. But secondly, then do, how do we come out? And not just, some of you will watch this video and say, well, of course you just come out spiritually by. Read the context here. Read this and say, I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. Um, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she hath said in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall say no sorrow. There. For shall her plagues come in one day death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God that judgeth her. And so all these merchant ships are going to bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, from one hour is thy judgment come. Merchants are, are mourning. So it's like, I, I think it means physically coming out because if it's destroyed by fire and the torment and the fire goes up like forever, then it's it's something that's devastating. It's not just come out of her spiritually. It's moving physically. If you read Revelation 18, that's to me the only conclusion that you can get. Unless somehow everything is crazily allegorical, in which case I don't see how you could ever interpret any scripture. So just thoughts, how do you come out of Babylon? I would encourage your learned scripture, not your superficial thoughts, but real thoughts on the matter in the comments below. Subscribe. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.